okay students in the last class we have talked about um, infinite ladder problem and i have also discussed about symmetric circuit uh, but still we have some issues with symmetric circuit so i'm going to continue with the uh with this series of problems once again right okay uh, for that, I am considering this particular circuit. Jitna simple ho sake, I am considering a circuit. Okay. So, this circuit ko achhi tarah se dekhoge. Upper side mein 10 and 10 microfarad. On the lower side, there is 10 and 10 microfarad. In between also 10 and 10. Up and down also 10 and 10. So, from every side, the circuit is going to be exactly same. Okay. इसीलिए अगर इस सर्किट को अच्छी तरह से देखोगे, if I call this particular point as x and this particular point as y, अगर मैं कहूँ x and y are identical points, ये आपको समझ में आएगा कि नहीं आएगा, x and y are identical points. इसका मतलब क्या है? अब अच्छी तरह से देखो सर्किट में, इस तरह से जाओगे, you will be getting 10 microfarad and 10 microfarad. This will come 10 microfarad and 10 microfarad. If this is going to be the thing, then x and y is exactly the middle point okay this way also 10 and 10 right okay so uh, from this particular situations we can uh, we understand that x and y are uh, exactly the same point for example if i connect a battery here and let me call the battery is of 10 volt. I call this particular point potential is V volt and potential at this particular point is 0 volt. Then you understand this way 10 and 10, this way 10 and 10, this cell is also 10, this side also 10, this is also 10, this is also 10. This particular line is going to be exactly the midpoint between 10 and 0. So here we can call a potential to be 5 volt, here we can call potential to be 5 volt. So let me remind you this particular uh, to solve this particular problem I can use many method but out of that one method I am trying to explain to you okay it is not like that you can solve it by the way I am explaining it you can find out balance which is bridge also out here okay or many other uh, way you can solve it right you start in delta symmetry also or you can divide in uh, okay fine right anyway so i from this particular circuit you understand this is 10 volt this i call it zero volt potential here will become five volt here also potential is going to be five volt clear so x and y are uh, two different points in the circuit which are completely identical points means they are in completely identical position because of the symmetry as i see had it been 10 this had been five or this is five and this is 10 10, 5, 5, 10, then, then X and Y would not have been identical points or points having same potential. They would, in that situation, they would be having different potentials, okay? So, in this circuit, since X and Y are having same potential, so these two points can be joined. Means in a circuit, different points having same potentials can be joined. So this circuit can be modified as X and Y, they can be joined. One line is straightforward, 10 and 10 between A and B. X I'm pulling it down, X I'm pulling it down. So this particular point, if I call it as O, this is O. Between O and X, O and Y, there are two capacitors. O and X, O and Y. This is X and Y. Two capacitors this one and this one these two included now when x will come down to y if i join them between a and x a and y two capacitors one is between a and x and one is between a and y similarly one is between x and b the other is between y and b x and b one is between y and b so this is what is the configuration we get. They are all identical capacitors. So I can uh, uh, bring this particular circuit like this between A and O, between O and B, A, O, B. These two, between these two points, they are in parallel. 10 and 10 will become 20. This is 10, this is 10. 10 and 10 in parallel, 20. So this way there is a 20. 
10 and 10, 20. So this way there is a 20. Okay. So between A and B, we have found 10, 10, 20, 20. Okay. Again, these two points, this point and this point. Okay. These two points will be having same potential because this way, this is going to be the middle point and this way, this is going to be the middle point. Okay. So if the potential here is 10, here is 0, here potential will become 5. Similarly, here potential is 10, here is 0, this is going to be 5, 5 and 5. No charge is going to flow, so this particular capacitance can be neglected. Or you can say P by Q is equal to R by S. Or I can call P by uh, R is equal to uh, P by R is equal to Q by S. This is the this ratios are equal, so this is this can be called a balanced Houston bridge. So the middle capacitor will get neglected. This can be neglected. If this is neglected between A and B, these two are in series 10 and 10 in series will become 5 let's develop that habit 20 and 20 in series will become how much 10 now 10 and 5 in parallel so equivalent will become how much 15 microfarad okay different technical so i'll show you okay Otherwise, uh, you can solve it this way also. Let me show you one more method. How can you solve it? Instead of solving it that way, how can you solve it? Okay. In this particular case, uh, when you go from here to here, or this one to this one, or this one to this one, all capacitors are same. So these are exactly midpoint. This point, this point, and this point, they're going to have the same potential. They're exactly the midpoint in all ways. Okay, so this point, uh, this point and this point will having same potential. So no charge is going to flow this way. This capacitor can be neglected. Okay, this point and this point is going to be the same, uh, having same potential. Okay, because of the nature of the circuit. Okay, because of the symmetry of the circuit. So no charge is going to flow from here to here. Right, so this is neglected, this is neglected. So as a result, what you'll get, these two are in series, these two are in series, these two are in series. So how the equivalent circuit will look like on the top, 10 and 10 in series will become 5. In between 10 and 10 in series will become 5. Below 10 and 10 in series will become 5. So 5, 5 and 5, they are all in parallel. So between A and B equivalent capacitance will become how much? 15 microfarad. This is CAB. This also you can solve it. Okay, let me take one more, let me take one more circuit and show you in a different manner. Let me take one more circuit. Let me take one more circuit. Let me take this circuit. Two capacitors here one capacitor here another capacitor there let me join it by one more capacitors okay okay this kind of symmetry let me make okay let me take this symmetry a and b between A and B, let us find the equivalent capacitance. Between A and B, let us find the equivalent capacitance. Let me make it this side a little bit. Since you also draw the diagram. I'm taking two capacitors out here. 
so uh, in order to simplify the problem all capacitors i'll consider to be c so all capacitances all capacitors are having capacitance c because i have to make you understand the symmetry so this particular problem we can solve many ways i'll show you some of the methods out here right first of all okay if you divide a circuit like this, left side and the right side, both are completely identical. If you divide the circuit horizontally, okay, this is got the horizontal symmetry. If, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you divide it horizontally, the upper side and the lower side are completely identical. So this particular circuit you can solve in many ways. Or if you go this way, point 1 and point 2 are exactly identical points. Point 3 and point 4 are exactly identical points, okay. Because this way, uh, the, the number of capacitors you will encounter and the, the, their magnitude, whatever it is, if you go this way also, you will uh, you will encounter identical. You will face identical capacitors in identical positions. Okay, so that is why this particular circuit has symmetry from all directions. Okay, so let me show you a different method to solve this particular problem. Let us start with the first method. Okay. Point 0.1 and point 0.2, since they are identical points, they are having same potential, they can be joined. Similar to 3 and 4, okay, if you come this way first, first, okay. So these two points are also having same potential, they can be just joined. So A, I am joining 1 and 2. A, I am joining 1 and 2. 1 and 2 are joined. So between A and 1, 1 capacitor between a and 2 the second capacitor a1 a2 this point let me call it as o then i am going to join point 3 and point 4 point 3 and point 4 okay. uh, right so between a and o 2 and o between a and let me call this particular point is o between 1 and o and between 2 and O, 1 and O, 2 and O, another capacitor is there. Okay, so between O and B and between O and uh, between O and 3 and between O and 4, another two capacitors. If I call this particular point as 3 and 4, between A and uh, between O and 3 and O and 4, two capacitors are there. Okay. Now, 2 and 4, how many we have considered? This one we have considered, 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 these capacitors we have considered. Now, between 2 and 4, there are two capacitors, C and C. I'll call it as C by 2. Between 2 and 4, how much is that? C by 2. So, between 2 and 4, uh, there is a capacitance of C by 2. Similar between 1 and 3, there is a capacitance of C by 2. Between 1 and 3, there is a capacitance of c by 2 rest all are c and c c and c now between 3 and b this we have considered between 3 and uh, b and 4 and b there are two more capacitors 3 and b and 4 and b there are two more capacitors c and c the circuit becomes like this in the situations okay so this is very easy to solve now c and c in parallel will become twice c this is C, this is twice C, this is twice C. Twice C and twice C in series will become C. Okay, let me show you in two lines. Uh, twice C and that side is how much? Twice C. This is C by 2, C by 2 in parallel. So it is going to be C. Right? C, C in parallel. Twice C. B. This point is 3 and 4. This point is 1 and 2. This point is O. This is A. So C by 2, C by 2, this will give you C. So twice C and twice C in series equivalent will become C. Let me show you quickly. This is below C. Above also this is going to be C. And that side is twice C. This side is twice C between A and B. So you understand C and C in parallel will become how much equal to? twice c clear so twice c twice c twice c in series therefore c equivalent will become twice c by three they call answer 
तो आई सी बाई थ्री फॉलोइंग गुड चलो इस प्रॉब्लम को लेट मी शो यू द प्रॉब्लम इन वन मूव वे वन मूव वे लेट मी शो इट क्विकली अदरवाइज द वीडियो बिकम वेरी लैंडी ओके सेम सर्किट everywhere c all right we have this a rest all capacitances are c now how we can solve it a different way okay listen carefully in this particular circuit what else we can do it if you see And in the circuit, there is a vertical symmetry and horizontal symmetry. If I divide it this way also, these two are identical. If I divide it this way also, these two are identical. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, let me do it one thing. Uh, let me do it like this. Let me divide this particular circuit into two equal parts. Divide them. That is the upper part. This is the lower part. Okay. And how it will look like? this one you can do in case of symmetric circuit but don't try to do it everywhere right okay for example uh you can divide it like this also this is c this is c this is 2 3 this is 2 3 4 4 5 5 one one then also there is a symmetry upper side and lower side are completely identical so you can divide it like this but in this situation left side and right sides are not identical you cannot divide it vertically keep that in mind clear okay that is a crucial point now since all capacitors are identical they are all c i am considering that to be c clear so upper side and lower side are completely identical let us see the upper side this is the upper side okay and this is the uh, the same thing will be on the lower side also this is the upper so that means the circuit i have divided into two equal parts okay two equal parts and i'll consider those two parts to be finally in between a and b i'll consider those two parts to be in parallel i'll find out the capacitance of the upper part i'll find out the capacitance of the lower part since they are identical obviously both parts will have same capacitance so i'll find out the capacitance of one part i'll consider another identical part is in parallel then i'll add it something like this okay this other part okay c c c and c this is c and this is c so finally uh, this is upper part this is lower part we have divided because of the symmetry horizontal symmetry okay so upper part will find out the equivalent lower part will be exactly same as the above then we will consider them to be connected in parallel between point a and b clear so let us find how much is the equivalent of this c c in series c by 2 c c in series c by 2 c by 2 and c by 2 in parallel equivalent will become c so this particular part equivalent is what c so what is the equivalent now c c c in series equivalent is what c by 3 So what you have seen on the upper side, on the upper part, there is a capacitance of C by three, and on the lower side also there will be capacitance of C by three. So equivalent capacitance between A and B can be calculated C by three, C by three, twice C by three. Okay, this is another way of solving it. Right? Note it down. but you remember one crucial point out here agar yahan par ek capacitor hota okay now we cannot divide into two parts right okay for that we we'll have to do something else we have to divide this capacitor again into two different parts okay 
anyway not divide that but anyway uh, let us understand one more point out here if i divide this circuit like this also then you see uh, on the left hand side and the right hand side both sides are completely identical so i can find out the uh, capacitance on the left hand side i can find the capacitance of the right hand side and then i can assume both to be in series clear this is another way so for that let me see the left hand side this is capacitance this one here this comes here try to see the circuit carefully okay okay this is the left half this is the right half so i have to consider on this particular part there is some capacitance on the other part there is some capacitance i have to assume these two parts are connected in series c1 and c2 in this case since it is a symmetric circuit c1 and c2 will become same okay so how to find that for that we'll be connecting this point here we'll be connecting it here okay so first first of all if this particular point is o we'll find how much is a o how much is a o same amount will become o b so these two are in parallel see carefully parallel between these two point they are connected in parallel between these two point they are connected in parallel so this circuit will become how much this is a capacitance c parallel means twice c below also c parallel means twice c so c twice c in series and this c and twice c in series so how much will become on the top c into twice c divided by c plus twice c so that is twice c by 3 below how much twice c by 3 so that is why this will give us between a and o between a and o how much will get 4c by 3 since they are in parallel they will get added up 4c by 3 so that is why this particular circuit we can assume it to be consist of two capacitors one is between a and o the one the other part is between o and b okay so this part how how much we have got 4c by 3 and this is how much 4c by 3 now they are connected in series so equivalent how much will become from here c equivalent will become how much okay same same in uh, series so equivalent is the magnitude divided by 2 so how much will become 2ic by 3 ओके okay, इसको ये अगर डायरेक्टली समझ में नहीं आता तो डायरेक्ट इसको करके निकालो कैसे करके निकालोगे 1 by c को बिना डी इक्वल टू 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 हाँ मस इस 1 by c1 हाँ मस इस c1 फर्स्ट पार्ट 4 c by 3 सो 1 by 4 c by 3 विल गो अप प्लस 4 c by 3 विल गो अप सो दिस विल बिकम 2 इनटू 3 डिवाइड बाय 4 c सो 3 डिवाइड बाय 2 c 1 by c को बिन therefore c equivalent will become reciprocal of this twice c by 3 same thing will come so use the uh, shortcut 4 c by 3 4 c by 3 in series so equivalent is 4 c by 3 divided by 2 that is twice c by 3 so you see in both we are getting the same answers both we are getting the same answers good so i hope you are understanding little bit about symmetric circuit So now let me show you one more circuit. Uh, let me consider this one. This circuit will have to solve for resistances also. So learn it here carefully between a and b every arm each arm has a capacitance has a capacitor of capacitance c each arm 
has got a capacitor of capacitance C. Try to make the diagram neat and clean. Okay, this will help you to solve the problem properly. C here. So we have to find C equivalent between A and B. We have to find C equivalent between A and B. How to solve this particular problem? Chalo isko samajhte hain. Okay. Ha. Pehle circuit ko dhyan dhyan se dekho. Okay. Iska geometry tumhe samajh mein aate ke nahi aate hain. तो इसमें से अच्छी तरह से देखोगे तो हमें सिमेट्री ढूंढना है सर्किट में ऑल सी तो उसको सिमेट्री ढूंढी लेंगे फ्रॉम ए टू बी जाने के लिए हम लोग के पास तीन रास्ता है वी हैव थ्री वेज टू गो फ्रॉम ए टू बी वन इज डायरेक्टली सीधा सीधा द अदर इज बिटवीन ए वन टू बी एंड अनदर वन इज ए थ्री फोर बी तो हियर लेट मी रिमाइंड यू ये जो रास्ता है ना वो ए वन टू बी ए वन टू बी और जो दूसरा रास्ता है और हियर दैस वुड बी कैपेसिटी ए थ्री फोर बी ये दोनों रास्ता बॉडीज बॉडीज रोड्स बॉडीज वेज आर एक्जेक्टली सेम देख लो अच्छी तरह से सी सी एंड सी सी एंड सी इसको हम एक पेपर से इसको बना सकते हैं बनाना थोड़ा मुश्किल होगा मैं क्विकली बनाता हूं रुको इसी वाला सर्किट इस टाइप का सर्किट ओके इसको देखो तो बिटवीन दिस टू पॉइंट ए एंड बी आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट इक्विबल एंड कैपेसिटी बिटवीन ए एंड बी तो इसीलिए इसका जो ये वाला रास्ता है और ये वाला रास्ता ये दोनों रोड आर कम्प्लीटली आइडेंटिकल इसलिए यहाँ से जाते वक्त तुम्हें जो रास्ता मिलेगा इस साइड से भी तुम्हें बिल्कुल वही सर्किट मिलेगा उसमें कोई नया नहीं मिलेगा तुम्हें इसीलिए ये पॉइंट को याद रखो पॉइंट वन एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट पॉइंट थ्री दिस टू पॉइंट्स आर एग्जैक्टली आइडेंटिकल पॉइंट मीन्स डे है पॉइंट्स हैविंग सेम पोटेंशियल यहाँ से यहाँ जितना ड्रॉप होगा यहाँ से इतना नहीं ड्रॉप होगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पोटेंशियल टेन वॉल्ट है इफ द ड्रॉप इज हेयर टू डेन ड्रॉप हेयर इज ऑल्सो टू ओके बिकॉज दोनों आइडेंटिकली नेचर सो यहाँ यहाँ टेन है हम इज अ ड्रॉप टू तो कितना रहेगा एट यहाँ टेन है वॉट विल बी द ड्रॉप सेम ड्रॉप टू हम इज रिमेन एट सो इसका पोटेंशियल एट है तो इसका भी पोटेंशियल एट है तो ये पॉइंट से लेके इस पॉइंट तक कोई भी चार्ज फ्लो नहीं होगा इसीलिए इस पार्टिकुलर रेजिस्ट इस कैपेसिटेंस या रेजिस्टेंस जो भी यहाँ पर है इसको रिमूव कर दो जैसे मैं यहाँ पर करने वाला हूँ किसको रिमूव करूँगा मैं इसको रिमूव कर दूँगा ओके सॉरी ये वाला बिटवीन वन एंड थ्री अगर इस तरह से चार्ज फ्लो हो रहा है बिटवीन वन एंड थ्री सेम एस ओके इस तरह से जाओगे तो ये पार्टिकुलर पॉइंट और ये पार्टिकुलर पॉइंट ये दोनों पॉइंट क्या है आइडेंटिकल है दे विल बी हैविंग सेम पोटेंशियल क्योंकि अगर मैं इस तरह से अगर मैं इमेजिन करूँ करंट इज नॉट गोइंग दिस वे इफ आई इमेजिन द करंट और चार्ज इज एंटरिंग फ्रॉम दिस साइड देन यहाँ से लेके यहाँ जितना ड्रॉप होगा यहाँ से लेके यहाँ भी उतना ही ड्रॉप होगा तो इसका मतलब ये पॉइंट पॉइंट टू एंड पॉइंट फोर आउट हैविंग सेम पोटेंशियल सो दिस कैपासिटेंस और रेजिस्टेंस वॉर एवर इट इज ये इट कैन बी रिमूव इट कैन बी रिमूव सो इसको अगर मैं रिमूव कर दूँ तो ये सर्किट बन जाता है इस टाइप का अभी सिंपल है सी दिस पार्टिकुलर सी एंड दैट पार्टिकुलर सी दिस आर इन सीरीज ओके सो बिटवीन ए एंड बी दिस इज कैपासिटी सी दिस थ्री आर इन सीरीज लेट मी सो इन दिस वे ओके एंड दिस इज ए वन टू बी सिमिलरली ए थ्री फोर बी ए थ्री फोर बी 
so c c c okay so between c c c c in series how much will become c by 3 c c c in series how much will become c by 3 now they are in parallel so how will get in parallel c equivalent is sum of them c by 3 plus c plus c by 3 3 is lcm 1 plus 1 2 plus 3 5 i as sum as me okay इस पार्टिकल का सर्किट को दोबारा सॉल्व करते हैं देखो और दूसरा पोजीशन को लेके बार-बार देखो एक ही बार देखने से हो सकता है कि तुम्हें समझ में ना आए तो इसलिए सर्किट को बार-बार देखो ओके इस सर्किट को मैं दोबारा ड्रा करता हूं हाउ एग्जैक्टली इट वाज लाइक दिस ओके इट वाज लाइक दिस Okay, beautiful. Between A and B. Okay. Every uh, side has same capacitance, CCC. Let me not show you the capacitance. Okay. Uh, if, if in this particular situation, if they ask us, uh, let me call this is A, uh, this is B, this is C or let me call this is C and that is D and that is E this is F if they ask us find equivalent capacitance between D and E 